sense, this is non-fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, your entertainment. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Nonfiction coming back at you one more time with a brand new reaction. And this time, it's for another sneak peek trailer that Stranger Things, the crew from Netflix, has snuck onto the page. I guess expecting nobody, didn't think nobody was going to really catch it, but we caught it. And it's another sneak peek. They're not really giving too much of a, of a deep dive into it because it's only like 30 seconds, so they can't give too much into it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, we're going to actually just get right into it. Once again, Stranger Things 4 sneak peek from Netflix. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what else they really want to tell us or is this just trying to keep the hype up so people, people can be excited and remember to watch the series when it drops. So, once again, Stranger Things 4, let's get to it, y'all. Let me turn that off. Let's go. Eleven, if you're listening. Mother of. Love the Ghostbuster suits. Something is coming. It is almost here. That's old. Oh, in 2022? That's why they're doing samples. Okay, so. We see it's truly, truly just a sample. Um, and of course, it starts out with how yeah, the last trailer ended was, you know, the focus on the door, which is supposed to be her room. And you hear the the doctor, the father, the father saying, you know, to call out Levin's name. So nothing, nothing too unusual. Let's get to the next scene. Of course, then we get a close up her eyes. So obviously, there's if you look at a reflection. There's something or someone you can't, it's hard to tell, but let's see. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So this was from last season when they were stuck, when they found underneath the, the mall, the, the Russian, which was kind of weird to me, like the whole Russian lab and all that stuff that was going on. <laughs> Every time I see him in that suit, it cracks me up. And it's, it really is some very quick clips. They're not giving us anything. I mean, it's all, this is all old stuff. This is all old stuff for the most part. Nothing really new because they're still super young here. You can see it. And this is from the first, this is from the first season. And this is last season when they were fighting the big, the big ugly bad monster at the very end in the mall. So I mean, they they're really not giving away too much. Then they're, they're they're doing their best to not give away hardly anything. It's it is it really is about hype. It's about trying to keep hype, even though as as you can see, it said on there twenty twenty two. So it's like you can actually let it die down a little bit and pop back up. Towards the latter part, latter part of this year, or even the beginning of 2022, just to get hype going again. Because the little, if you keep peppering with the little 30 second clips, people are gonna get tired of seeing it. Because you're not, you're not giving us anything. All this also, if you look at their faces, they're still, they're still young. This is, this is not, this is not even them. Because oh boy, the young uh, African American kid, him right now, he looked totally different. <laughs> I mean, he still looked like himself, but he looked like a young man. Like, I seen him, somebody did a mock-up of him in the Miles Morales suit, and I was like, he, that would be dope. He actually looked, it looked really good on him. Um, but there's nothing. Yeah, see, this is still old stuff. This is still old. Something's coming. Well, and, of course, Every season has been teasing something bigger and badder, or even this worse, a worser fear come back to haunt the little town and, and uh, everybody in love with in the family. It's I'm telling you, it's crazy how 
and it's just black. <laughs> Even though it shows something. Okay, now this clock. Of course, this clock is a new visual. So because this is a new visual, we know this is a focal point. Could be the clock itself. Could be the sounds of the clock. Could be something happening in the background with the sounds of the clock. Could be freaking anything. Could be anything. So I'm hoping that somebody does a decipher video on a couple of, of the couple of different the different sneak peek trailers that we've gotten to try to figure out more information and details about what's going on. And if if I find something like that, or even if you guys find something like that, send me a link. Let me know. Post a link in the script in the um in the chat, and we'll we'll talk about it. We'll watch it, we'll react it, react to it, and talk about it. See, of course, this is new footage, which because it, it's so quick. It won't let me pick it up. That's so crazy. So, the global phenomenon, blah, blah, yep, yep, yep. See, and at the end of the video, at the end of the, at the end of this trailer, the sneak peek, those little quick clips, some of those are actually, it's actually new footage because the hairstyle changed, actual looks of, you know, them being older, it definitely shows up in the video. But for the most part, what we were shown in this sneak peek was a little bit of like nothing. They just, it's just a, it's just to keep us excited about what's coming. And I'm one of the very few people who felt that Stranger Things after season one could have stopped and would have been considered a true cult classic. Not saying it's still not considered a classic. It's still a good series. I think that four, I mean, four, I think that season one was actually so good, even left on the cliffhanger, because based off how the time period is, you know, the 80s, everything was left on the, cl on the cliffhanger in the 80s. TV shows, movies, everything, cartoons, everything left on cliffhangers. Everything. Even the early 90s, they, they kept doing that. Freaking, some, one of the biggest cartoons, X-Men, left on the cliffhanger. Never came back. It, it, it never came back. They tried to do it in the movies and try to complete the cliffhanger and did a poor job. But regardless, I, I felt that season one was perfect the way it was. You know what I'm saying? I think the way it's it rounded itself together, it was perfect. But, you know, they're coming back and, and now it's season four. So, and I have enjoyed watching the different seasons. I'm not gonna say I haven't enjoyed them. I just felt like when they ended season one, it was like the perfect bow on the to leave it on a cl a classic cliffhanger, which was perfect for that time period. But they gave us more, which is cool, and I'm happy with it. But I still felt I'm I know I'm probably one of the very few that feel like if they were left for that season one, I wouldn't have been upset because at the end of season one, I was content with knowing that everybody for the most part was okay. You know, we still had issues with the, you know, the 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 upside down, and we knew that she was still alive because the egos was being left there, but they were being eaten, so they were being taken. So we knew that, and I thought perfect time, but they went into the stop extra. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. Do you, are you excited for season four? Even though we still got some time and a ways to go before we get season four, have you completed seasons one through three? If not, what's stopping you from watching seasons one through three? Just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and like I said, if you see anybody that's doing like an explainer video that's talking about is breaking down this video shot for shot, because there's stuff I know I don't have no idea what it's, in, it's symbolizing because I don't remember. It's been so long. It's been, <laughs> because of what's going on in the world, it's been so long, I do not remember. So if you do, post a comment down below. My name is Don Fiction. Hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. I'll definitely catch you on the next one. I appreciate you. I love you. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Man, just join the family. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you. We love you. Join the Fiction Fam. Did I say that correctly? The Fiction Fam. Yes, there we go. Share the video. Like the video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, love, and I'm out, y'all. Appreciate you.